everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we're playing Zoe mid lane versus a Silas. It's a pretty nice matchup because whenever he jumps on you, as long as you do have bubble, it's normally pretty easy to uh, just hit him back. So he falls asleep. The downside is he's Silas, and if he, you know, just builds Burnt Treads, it becomes significantly harder because he's really tanky. Oh my god, that looks so weird. Like, this sketch. Uh, other than that, Another upside of Zoe versus Silas is that your ultimate is pretty damn useless on him, so then you're just taking away an ultimate that would otherwise be useful, so that's also good too. I haven't been playing that much Zoe recently, so I might be a little bit washed up. We will see. I did play Zoe on stream yesterday, and it was going kind of poorly, and then suddenly mid-game I just started performing very well, so I just need to keep my mental up if I uh, make mistakes during the early game. And realize that I just need two items. It, does, it doesn't matter if I'm far behind. Unless I'm like significantly far behind. And uh, we can maybe win. Okay, let's just not get it by the center of that. My Q is AoE, so I just bopped him for 40 damage. Doesn't really deal that much, but you should still be doing it because it's better than nothing. Right there, auto attack, and then a Q back. I'm trying to bait out his Q as well, trying to make him use it. He isn't, though. Level 2 ganks are still as powerful as ever. Bop him. Oh my god, I really took a turret shot. I actually mistimed that that bad. That's pretty bad. I thought I didn't mistime it. I might get ganked. Because the thing is that Trendle should be... Okay, no, he's back topside. He actually didn't even do any other camps. He just went straight back top again. Good bubble here. Just hit him with that. Do a little bit of damage. Also, top didn't die. That's very good. Okay, cool. I didn't miss cannon. Missing that balloon is a big deal, by the way. He might jump on me, and I might have Trunnel come, but honestly, I'm okay with it, because if he does jump on me, I'll land Bubble, and then Nunu will counter gank, probably. <laughs> it would be so cool if he was able to land that, and then we just deal a ridiculous amount of damage. That would have been so nice. Didn't work out, though. There's Trundle. I'm down CS because I'm CSing poorly right now. But. Damn, just let me auto attack you, man. Another good uh, bubble there. I'm doing a good job at, like, sneaking them between creeps over and over again. He used his potion and his biscuit, so we got that off of him, which is very good. I might still get ganked by Trundle, but it would be from bot side, which is why I'm hovering top side right now, because I think that I could just run away. Hmm, this guy's kind of low. He might be killable from this HP. If I land everything, so like start off with W, auto attack, E, land it, and then finish him off with Ignite. The way that he's posturing up makes me think that he's trying to set up for Trundle, I think. I'm not really sure though. This guy is dead. No way. Am I not going to be able to use this? Wait, 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 wait. No, that's probably not going to work. Although I'm landing some pretty nice abilities here. If only I was able to land one more. Maybe I can use this Proto Ball. actually playing out of my mind right now that was that was pretty insane 
Could I use my flat? Am I dead? Dude, the top lane is pinging and it's scaring me because that means Orin is probably in river, so that's why I'm like really walking towards this trundle here. I got scared. So anyways, I had Flash and Protobelt on the ground. Very lucky that I got that, obviously. Um, so we just use Flash to firstly speed ourselves up because we're using an ability. And then we have more sparkles going off from our Spell Thief. And then we just jump on him and hope that we win. You might die, bro. Please. Oh my gosh, you are playing so ballsy. Are you dead to minions? Wow, 13 HP. It was not worth for him to continue stepping up there. I'm shocked that he did because we saw that he was sick, so... This won't kill, but it's pretty damn close, though. We can at least chunk him, and then maybe we can just hit tower or something. Jace is having a rough time up there. That plate's already gone, so... Maybe it'd be easier to... Nice. Huge bubble. They don't have cleanse, so thankfully, landing any bubble can easily by be followed up by a hook. If we didn't have a hook champion like a Soraka, they probably would have escaped. It, it feels so nice to have champions like that. I'm fine with him jumping on me. I'll just ignite him here. He should just be dead. And I get cannon. Nice. Using my Q backwards there with my R. We have 100% KP so far. We've been part of every single kill. It's a good early game start for Zoe. But you can't get complacent because you're playing Zoe. And it's very easy to lose games. If you accidentally throw. Because you're burst champion and not consistent. So going against Orin, he buys Merc Treads and Force of Nature. And it doesn't matter if you buy Void Staff, he is invincible for nearly the rest of the game. This guy is just walking into like all of my spells. All of those Qs. We got huge chunks off on him. That's really good. I don't even have that much AP yet because we haven't even bought but I kind of want to stay on the map for as long as possible. Just don't get it by his Q, we're okay. That was a pretty bad bubble this time, but he does walk between minions quite a bit, so figured why not give it a shot. My cleanse, even though it's kind of useless, is still pretty useful uh, just for the movement speed. So if I get ganked, I can just pop it. Not to cleanse anything, but just to run. Mm, okay, so Trundle's gonna probably rotate top, and I'm gonna follow him, because what's gonna happen is Orin's gonna rotate to get assistance, but then I'm here. And then I just completely counter their their counter gank, right? So Orin is like, okay, I have my teammate around, and he'll help me. No, I'm here too. So now it's a 2v, rather than 2v2, it's 3v2. Plus, I think this guy dies too. I no longer am 100% KP, sadly, because bot lane also got some kills. This is probably going to be a 15-minute game, considering they're losing really hard, unless they kill me and feel more confident, because I'm pretty sure their morale right now is very, very low. So unless I somehow die and give them a shutdown, we win. And this is honestly the most ideal Zoe game. You don't want games to last long. You want to win ASAP. Because your champion is ridiculous once she gets ahead. You just need to continue keeping that lead up. No way, is he really gonna... Oh, we use Flash. He, I think he might live. Oh man, they must be so tilted.
I did not mean to hit that. Yeah, I'm going back mid. I bet I could try to steal this, but I'm not going to bother. Okay, nice. I landed the bubble. That's huge. Let's just ignite preemptively. He might die. Just barely. Yo. This guy has no flash. Remember, he used it on the uh, Nunu. So that's why Nunu's playing so confidently against him. Just walking straight at him. Because he could just get chomped. He was pretty low. Shut down bot lane. Our bot lane died. Silas is now 0-4. Got the good bubble here, but we just run. Oh, I'm surprised I needed a flash. It's kind of disappointing. He did so much damage there. I can't even step... Oh, I have Kai's with me. Hmm. Maybe I can. Yeah, Trundle should die. He has no sums. It's huge. Okay, so this guy is pretty weak, but I'm pretty low, but I have Lock It. Oh, he has Nautilus Ultimate? Hmm. Wow, he didn't want to jump on me there. I was kind of anticipating that he would dash forward, use the Nautilus Ultimate, and then go for me. I'm just going to base. I'm not even going to go for these creeps. It's not even worth it. Not even going to stop my base. If he went for tower, maybe I would have attempted a bubble, but he he didn't. I need to make sure it like lands 100% of the time, and then maybe I can go for him, but he didn't step up far enough for it to land, so. Ludens is a huge buy for us. He might just go for the plate, which is undefendable, it seems. Oh, wait. I might be able to clear it. Yep. He did not get the plate. I saw him last rotate top, so that's why I'm, like, looking for him. Huge new new snowball. It looks like they're winning, so I'm just going to head out. They already won that fight. I just halfway rotate just in case. If Trundle, like, uh, for some reason could escape through our jungle, then I would be in route to just catch him. I just use my uh, bubble, so that's down for, like, a little bit. So if he wants to go on me, this is prime time. He just finished his Rod of Ages as well, so... Let's get his first strike down, so he just doesn't get that much gold. Luden's proc, hit the tower. Tower. One more tower hit. Nice, he took it away. Okay, he got ultied. Oh, he got blast coned. So he's just gone then. There's a Zaya topside. Okay, I needed. I might die here actually. Depends on this Trundle Pillar. Okay, it wasn't that good, thankfully, so I'm gonna live. We can still fight this, if I land a bubble, that is, because Nautilus was rotating. The only whole risk there was just one Trundle Pillar that knocked me towards them, and then I can't run around it. Okay, huge bubble here. He'll get hooked back, so we can just use everything on him. Is Trundle bot side? I need to hit him at the same time that he's doing this, because the thing is that the blue buff will actually wake him up. So... Like, there's no reason to go for a long bubble, which is what I would do on a sleeping target. Because monsters, uh, when they hit the people, it wakes them up. Disappointed that I missed that. Mm, just 
fight looks pretty damn bad. She's really gonna live like that. She's really gonna live like that. Dang. I did finally land my bubble that I wanted that I was like, this is good. Let's go. And we can like actually get the kill. Well, there goes my shutdown. It might not FF anymore. She lived with like uh, 50 HP. If I had my item, I would have killed her. But oh well. Happens. I'm gonna go Shadow Flame. It's just the best item. Deals the most damage out of anything else. Horizon Focus isn't bad to go as well. I don't know if I showed my runes this game, but really you can run any runes that you want on Zoe. Um, there's people who like Airy. It's either Airy or Electrocute or Spellbook. I personally only go Electrocute plus whatever you want. I'm sure you can go Resolve if you really wanted to. This game I took Biscuit plus uh, the thing that makes it, what is it, Cosmic? Alright, so now that we threw our lead a little bit, all we need to do is just focus on, um... Big damage. I just wasted my pink board because I... I just put my pink board on top of my pink board. But that's okay. It happens. We need to focus on objectives, is what I was trying to say. Um, we need to just, you know, create siege opportunities, do that kind of stuff. Big bubble here. I don't think I need to use anything. I can just uh, smite him over this wall. Oh, wait. Okay, I'll even ignite him as well since he uses flash. The Lulu ulting him made it a bit harder to kill him, so I have to use other things. But it was still worth because I didn't have to burn my own flash, which is what I was looking to do. That guy's super low. Where the hell did that guy go? What? Damn, he's so low. If I got the auto attack off, it might have proxed electrocute and killed him, but for some reason it didn't let me auto. Unfortunate. If Zaya stayed, I was getting ready to flash on her. That's why I picked up a flash so I could Maybe chase her down, since she's one of the most important members. If she dies, her whole entire team should just fall apart. Dragon's up. I mean... You can kind of tell that they shouldn't be contesting because Zaya's top. So that's why I'm not even caring about being rotated. Because if they were going to contest with the amount of people that they have now, they just auto-lose the game. There's no way they can win team fights without her. There's Silas. I guess we maybe can get this bot tower. I can pick up the smite. I might give up mid tower because of my positioning, though. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Good hit, but didn't do any damage. Really? I'm just gonna do it on Lulu since uh, she was tanking the Q, so I can't use it on Trundle there. It won't work, even though he was the one that was left. Keep up the pressure, take their whole entire base, slowly win the game. Oh my god. Okay, good. That, that, this bubble's huge. Oh, wait. Uh, I thought Nunu woke her up, so I just wasn't really prepped because he kept on hitting her, so I'm like, oh no, he's gonna wake her up. I guess there's nothing for us to do. She's up in my bubble again. I think we should just leave. This is not the fight that I want to be part of anymore. We have our item as well, and it's going to make it so much easier. So if I just land one bubble on any of their squishy characters, which are these three, I'll, I'll just get my own blue. It's okay. I can have that one. Now I deal basically true damage to them, right? 
with the amount of magic pen that I have. Jace is being caught, but he has flash, but he already used it, so it's down. Damn. We might be able to still kill, though. We'll just ignite this guy preemptively for the movement speed. I'm gonna put myself next to a wall, but... Put this into the wall so Trundle can't actually defend versus it. Yeah, the thing is about, you can put Zoe Q anywhere, so like, if somebody's trying to block, you can just put inside of walls to try to make it so, if there was somebody to body block, they can't anymore, or they just have to position themselves in a really weird angle. I was just trying to look over the wall, see if there was a bubble angle, but there was none. Zai is still pushing bot, which is honestly fine. The thing is, what she's trying to do is just take objective bounties, because that's their only chance back into the game. If she is still feeling confident, I, have, I personally would just been given up by now I would just think that is over but if she does want to win that's that's optimal bubbled Orn. he actually did fall asleep I thought he was gonna use his W when we triple and hit we win the game there's no way that they're gonna be able to defend as their team comp versus us doing this they're pretty screwed now We might get engaged on now. This is their best time to engage before the supers are in their base, and also Kai'Sa kind of base right in front of their face. So if they want to win the game, Orange should just hard engage us. I have flash though. So I wish them luck. I use my ultimate to try to dodge the worm, but I'm just going to flash forward. Can I use this Anya's to hit them and also not die to the Nexus? Nice. The Nexus turret will kill you because it, when you use Zoe R, you get hit by it twice, so you just instantly die because it deals 2,000 damage. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did enjoy it, please drop a like on the video, leave a comment below, etc. Whatever it might be. I'll be streaming on twitch.tv slash peekwolf. That was a very good Zoe game. The the most impressive moment was the protobolt moment. That was that was the peak. Give it to Nunu. He came mid a lot. I really enjoyed that. So damage dealt. Very high. And yeah. Pretty happy with that one. So thanks for watching once again, guys. I hope you have a good day, and I will see you guys in the next commentary. Okay. Silas is complaining about Trundle picking Trundle. All right. Bye, guys.